Hey cruise fans and welcome back to Ray and Sue's Travel Channel. It's been our pleasure to share with you the beautiful wonder of the seas on our eastbound transatlantic into Spain. In this video we're going to share with you three ports on that trip from Malaga, Valencia and Cartagena. Enjoy! Well, good morning, everybody. Here we are. It's Rain Sue's Travel Channel, and we're uh, in Malaga this morning. This is the first port of call on the beautiful wonder of the seas on her inaugural season in the Mediterranean. We've just come across the Atlantic on the eastbound transatlantic, and we're awoken this morning by a beautiful sunrise which I'll just try and capture just a little bit and we're also greeted by the view of the port at Malaga and also a, what the wonderful sight of Celebrity Constellation which is also just docking in the port at Malaga so she's here this morning, uh, as you can see, she's just arriving and uh, a lovely sight to behold. Uh, the, certainly the celebrity cruise fans will be uh, pleased to see such a beautiful ship arriving in the port of Malaga this morning and us being able to grab some great footage of Celebrity Constellation as she arrives in port as well. Okay, so here we are. We're uh, past the uh, marina area and now just on our left, we're passing the beach. A lovely beach, nice open piece of sand. And so we're at the Cathedral de Malaga in Malaga, Old Town. And we are uh, just having a walk around the town and we thought we'd share this with you. It's a lovely building, lovely place and a really, really lovely part of the town. And as we pan around we can see local shops and bars and cafes in the streets, in the side streets, some of which are very, very good. And Malaga is peppered with beautiful little side streets, with lovely cafes and bars, somewhere to relax and get yourself a nice drink. And as we walk back towards the port area, you can see uh, a hustle and bustle of Malaga town centre and the main street but also some lovely gardens and here in Malaga you can get yourself a horse and carriage wide should you wish to have one the uh, front is peppered with lots of very pleasant park areas with seats and statues and a real nice, nice and cool, somewhere to get cool and out of the sun. In Malaga, of course, you can do the hop on, hop off bus tour. And uh, just do a little shot here of the uh, main thoroughfare through Malaga. And also here is the transfer buses. Transfers from the ship today were $5 return trip. We're actually going to do a bit of a walk back, but uh, this is where it drops you off for five dollars and it's actually at the end of the main quayside area right by Malaga port and this part of the seafront you can see various clippers and sailboats that are actually at moor here and also across the bay you can see the lighthouse and a whole bunch of various restaurants and bars 
and shops and then just in the distance now we can see the fantastic wonder of the seas and we'll be back on her a little bit later on today so I'll share that with you now, a very lovely sail ship the Pagoria So a lovely clipper ship, the Captain Borkhardt, and as we pan around, okay, we can see the beautiful wonder of the seas, just adjacent to the pier by the lighthouse there, and in a string of restaurants, cafes and bars and shops, all the way down. And so uh, the coloured square building on the centre of the picture is the Pompidou Centre. And you can see the front has been accentuated and improved significantly by the introduction of various shops and restaurants. And overall, the uh, port area is uh, obviously being maintained there's a little bit of building work going on but overall a lovely part of Malaga and also easy access to the old town And as we proceed further along the port, a, a wonderful display of Porsches and various other vehicles. and the Porsche Cayenne e-hybrid and the very lovely Porsche Taycan and a lovely boardwalk all the way up to the lighthouse that you can see here how lovely is that? As uh, we're getting closer now, back to the ship, we can see the wonderful wonder of the seas at the quayside, and we'll be getting on her shortly. But I uh, just thought I'd share that with you. Very busy here today. So the beautiful wonder of the seas, and just to her rear, celebrity constellation. How lovely is it? Okay, so here we are in the cruise port at Malaga, the arrivals hall. And uh, a few shops open, but uh, not very busy. But still, a quite a nice reception area. And uh, a variety of uh, stores selling uh, cured meats and wines and cheese etc and uh, some nice bread products okay so uh, welcome back everybody and here we are in Malaga we are just getting back on board and you can see an interesting perspective the wonder of the seas 
uh, getting some of its deliveries and a beautiful shot of the ship and no sooner that we've got off the ship we are now back on board thank you back on to the Royal Promenade on deck five well good afternoon cruise fans and uh, here we are now in Malaga it's the afternoon it's after half past five it's uh, all aboard on the wonderful wonder of the seas after our nine days eastbound transatlantic this was the first stop of the cruise and before we leave today just wanted to share with you another glance at celebrity constellation uh, what a beautiful ship and uh, we'll be on her uh, in November of this year uh, out in the Caribbean um, the port's starting to calm down a little bit it's been very busy here today we've obviously been out and we've showed you a few of the uh, sites around Malaga and the port um, we of course uh, I've not shared with you the marina which we can now see from our stateroom on deck 10 but uh, here we are a nice view over Malaga itself it's been a reasonable day today weather wise it's been fairly warm it's been in just into the 20s today and we have really enjoyed our stay in Malaga um, as you can see one or two people still milling around around the port obviously awaiting the departure of wonder of the seas we're, we're past the all aboard time so it won't be long before captain will uh, pull away from the key and we get underway onto our next port so stay tuned and so as constellation departs from the open sea we can see the uh, AC pods the thrusters in the in the rear of the ship starting to engage and uh, no doubt we'll see her in one or two other ports um, on the rest of this cruise. Hey cruise fans and welcome back to Rain's Who's Travel Channel. We're on a second stop on the eastbound transatlantic and we're in Cartagena today and a little bit later on we're going to be getting off and walking around the town seeing some of the sights. But I thought I'd share with you the view from our balcony on deck 10 the beautiful sight of the marina and the various boats and tall ships in there but also in the distance the mountains over the port overlooking the port and the town of Cartagena itself uh, and the tallest area in the background there the green area is uh, Cartagena Fort which we'll share a little bit of as we go out today and so I just thought I'd give you a nice look of the marina and we're in the port and a beautiful marina with the lovely wonder of the seas in the background how beautiful is that So you can uh, get a tour here from Royal Caribbean, it's a walking tour and you can see there's just one going by now and we've chosen not to today, we've chosen just to get off and uh, take a walk around on our own but it's uh, available to you and they're usually Quite good.
So welcome back to the channel everybody and here we are in Cartagena and we're up in one of the squares in the back streets and I just thought I'd share a little view of the square itself. It's quite pleasant, somewhere to sit, have a coffee. It's all very nice. A quaint little area with little bars and cafes and all around a nice Spanish environment, a bit of a Latin vibe. Somewhere nice to sit, have yourself a coffee or a beer. It's Sunday today, it's the 30th of April, so most residents are uh, enjoying the weekend. Really quaint little side streets with again cafes and bars, nice and quiet, and pedestrianised areas like these ones here, which are quite pleasant, quite nice. And beautiful churches with uh, ornate carvings as you can see here. And ornate buildings with nice flower displays and carvings around the windows. So this is the old site of the Church of Santa Maria de La Vieja. Cartagena Old Cathedral. So here we are again, and there's a fort at the top of the hill, but uh, we're not going to uh, take you up there, but a nice little amphitheatre here and obviously ruins of the old cathedral and at the top of this hill a beautifully laid out garden and a particularly lovely shot of the amphitheatre and the hill. How lovely is that? So here we are in uh, Cartagena port and you can just see one of the tourist boats coming back in from a tour outside the bay and we can see the beautiful wonder of the seas. Here she is, massive ship, biggest ship in the fleet, biggest cruise ship in the world and you can see how she dwarfs the small boats in the marina. And also in port with us today is uh, the celebrity constellation in the far distance and also an Aida uh, cruise ship, the name of which I've not been able to uh, recognise. And a wonderful boardwalk, as you can see. Uh, a very pleasant, well-maintained area here in Cartagena. And if this is the sort of content that you like, then please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It's through your subscription that we're able to continue to bring you this sort of uh, content. And it really help our channel grow and also help the YouTube algorithm work out what you like and what you don't like. So thank you in advance and it would be a pleasure to answer any questions and welcome to the community. And this is a really pleasant little walk back to the ship. Nice and pedestrianised, no traffic, no hassle. 
and uh, it's Sunday today so it also appears to be an area where the locals like to to walk take a walk out and of course most likely to want to come and see this beautiful cruise ship the wonder of the seas how lovely is that so here we are back in the marina in the port and uh, we can see the beautiful wonder of the seas there's an excellent backdrop to the marina and the small boats and actually the pilot boats in the marina and over on the left hand side we can see a Viking cruise ship and also the celebrity constellation. How lovely is that? And here's the lovely Susie and uh, I lost her for a little while but uh, she's back now and she's got her celebrity cruises bag with her which is a bit strong because she's actually on a Royal Caribbean cruise right now however we'll uh, we'll overlook that given it's the sister company and we're just enjoying Cartagena and we're enjoying the beautiful wonder of the seas and the lovely marina and in fact the surroundings the various oh, hills mountains in the distance and the lovely boardwalk that there is here in Cartagena port. And as we get back on board now, we can see the huge size of the wonder of the seas. I hope you've enjoyed the areas that we've shown you today in Cartagena. It's a beautiful city and lots to see and do. A fantastic boardwalk as you can see there on the other side of the marina. And the marina and the port area itself, which is really, really lovely. Um, it's actually been upgraded since the last time we were here. So that's nice to see. And it's great to see ships like the Wonder of the Seas preferring to dock at ports such as this so we hope you've enjoyed the content today and if you have please consider liking and subscribing to our channel we're fast approaching a thousand subscribers and we really like to push on now so if this is the sort of content that you like if port tours and ship tours and tips and tricks are what you like to hear and read about then uh, please consider subscribing to the channel in regards to this particular video if there are any questions that you have or any comments that you would like to leave then please do so we of course will answer every single one of them and if you have any questions then we'll be happy to help well good morning everybody it's uh, rains who's travel channel here and uh, we're in valencia today this is the third stop on the eastern Transatlantic on the beautiful wonder of the seas and you can see uh, Valencia it's early morning it's uh, just after eight o'clock um, we've only just arrived and you can see that Valencia is off in the distance uh, a nice little marina there um, sadly not all uh, cruise ports can be as glamorous as uh, as Cartagena and uh, Malaga so we've also arrived this morning to the view of a container port on the starboard side but nevertheless there is a free transfer bus that will take you off to the gates of the port whereupon you can also secure yourself a $10 transfer into Valencia town so we'll probably do that today but I just thought I'd share with you just an initial view of Valencia so of course uh, the port is capable of receiving rather large ships and 
wonder of the seas, of course, is the biggest ship in the world. Um, we also have Celebrity Constellation with us today, which is nice to see. But there we are, that's the port at Valencia. And this is just a few tips and tricks for the Valencia stop. In Valencia, you will be given a free transfer bus to the port entrance and the port entrance is here. It's the uh, terminal de Pazageros and it will drop you off uh, over here. Now you can choose to use the cruise lines arrangement with uh, private companies and pay 20 euros to get to town and back if there's two of you, so it's 10 euros each. This is where the bus will drop you. Uh, or you can choose to get the public transport. And uh, public transport is available. Where you can see those two yellow buses leaving now, there's a roundabout. And if you cross that roundabout, there is a bus stop uh, where you get the number four bus. And you can catch the number four bus and it will cost you one euro 50. And it will take you down to the center of Valencia, so into the town centre and it terminates in the town centre. So um, you can also get the return bus from that very spot. So you can go into the town centre, you can walk around the old town uh, and you can see the sights and know that you just go back to the same bus stop and the number four bus will bring you back for a further one euro fifty cents. So, and so this is the actual port entrance. And as I mentioned in the previous segment, uh, if you can see the brown and beige building on the other side of the road, uh, that's where you get your bus from and uh, it's just on the left and the bus will drop you off at exactly the same place when you return okay and so you come back into the port and it's very simple you come back into the port there is there's the terminal is actually one of the metro buses that is going out and you'll find a bus down here on your left hand side okay I hope that helps and if that does and if this is the sort of advice and guidance that you like then please consider liking and subscribing to the channel it's through your subscription which is free that this channel will grow and this advice and tips and tricks can be had. So this is uh, Valencia Town Centre. We just came up on the bus today. It cost us one euro fifty each for a single, uh, and it's bus number four from the port. This is downtown Valencia.
So when you return back from the uh, city centre on the number four bus, you cross the roundabout again, come back in, and there will be the free transfer shuttle that's waiting here to bring you back to your cruise ship. So we hope that helps, and we hope these tips and tricks help you when you visit Valencia. And uh, if you don't want to avail yourself of the cruise line's commercial arrangements, you can do it yourself for a very, very small amount of money. Okay, take care. So here we are, back in the terminal now, and we can see the lovely wonder of the seas. Here we are, it's Rain Sue's Travel Channel, and we're just getting back on board the beautiful wonder of the seas. We've had a good day out in Valencia, and we are just getting back on board. We've been down into the town today. As you can see, people are starting to come back in. It's all aboard at 5.30. So I just thought I would give you a last shot of this beautiful ship before we leave Valencia. And if you like this video, why not check out our channel, Rain Sue's Travel Channel, where you'll find a raft of other cruise videos covering the Far East, the Middle East, the Mediterranean, and the Caribbean and Mexico. So we hope you've enjoyed this three port tour of Malaga, Valencia and Cartagena and if you have please consider liking and subscribing to the channel and leave us any comments or questions that you have about the video below. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next video which will be a Wonder of the Seas ship tour part 3. Bye bye.